You all right? <laughs> we have all heard the classic anecdotes that illustrates the differences between men and women. You know, men are from Mars, women are from Venus. <laughs> or whatever planet I came uh -huh. from. But the battle of the sexes also happens on the fields and finance, especially when it comes to retirement planning. To detail some of these differences is our financial expert, Andy Barkay. Good morning, Andy. Good morning, you Let's too. break it down. What are some of the differences? Well, there's a lot of differences out there. Now, not as much fun as listening to our last segment. Uh -huh, yeah. Really, that was kind of interesting. <laughs> uh, women actually, over their lifetime, make less money. Okay. okay. There's all kind, and this is some, some of these things are known quite a bit. Sure. Actually, women spend less time in the workforce, about 12 years on average. And why is that? They're raising families. Right. Mm -hmm. And then again, Who's the one that typically goes home or doesn't go to work when a child gets sick? Right, moms. Yeah. Typically mom. Yeah. Mom's going to do that. Okay. All these things a trick put question together. For a second, I was <laughs> well, no. <laughs> well, yeah, my wife listened to this and I'm in trouble already. Uh, okay, there you go. Um, but then again, all these things will add up into women saving less for retirement. And typically, it's maybe a stereotypical thing, but that's in, some, in most relationships, it's thought of as the male's job to do is to save for that retirement, mm. get in that mm -hmm. 401k, put money in that IRA, watch those investments. And in a lot of cases, especially in our generation, the boomer generation, divorce is much more prevalent. So these mm. things get divided up. In a lot of cases, when women get told that retirement, and they actually retire earlier on average than men, mm -hmm. it ends up being less retirement assets in their corner. Okay. So a lot of things out there affecting women that are somewhat, I guess, tied to our society. But then again, a lot of them are just structural, and they just save less money. So what do we do? Do we work longer? Do we save more? Do we fight for raises? I think all, all three of those things. Okay. All things you just said. In a lot of cases, do get involved with those 401ks you have. Make sure your companies are, you're at least getting in to get those company matches and mm -hmm. make it a priority. Plan. Hmm. You know, th what, in a lot of cases, women are a big part of that financial picture along with their husbands or even if they're single. Mm -hmm. uh, we, women live a lot longer. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's another issue there. If you look at it just from, a, I guess, a statistical point of view, if a male is going to pass away earlier, well, things change when that happens okay. financially. Right. Uh, if you have Social Security, that typically gets cut a little bit. Mm -hmm. If a pension is involved, if you're lucky enough to have a pension, well, that usually changes or maybe goes away. So all these things lead up to the fact that women may have less when they're actually by themselves later on in life. So these things can be compensated for by a lot of planning. However, it's just something you have to sit down and do and put together. All right. Got to be a little more proactive. Pretty much so. Andy, thank you so much for thank joining you. us this morning. Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you, and you too. Feel free to jump in that discussion anytime. <laughs> the one we were having about that. Yeah, you know, there's just so many things, and, and, and just some, you should just probably stay away from most of them. Japanese <laughs> exactly women. Right. It is six.